What's up? You checking out the frequent flyer and this is a quick review of the Beta FPV Beta 75 Pro 2. This is a 2S tiny whoop, a brushless tiny whoop and this is it right here. Pretty awesome little quad here. This thing flies really nice. This thing is very light and it's running off 2S so the punch out is insane. Kind of too fast to be a tiny whoop flying indoors on 2S. And so you can fly this thing on 1S as well. So the best of both worlds, it flies really nice indoors on 1S. It flies really nice outdoors on 2S. But I have been able to fly this thing on 2S indoors. And I've had a lot of fun with this thing flying it around on 2S indoors. But it might be a little too much for a beginner. So I wouldn't recommend trying to fly this thing on 2S indoors. And this frame is pretty durable. I have been smacking into things and nothing on this thing broke yet. So pretty surprisingly, I do have a couple scuffs up here on top of the canopy from uh, flipping over and stuff like that. It does have turtle mode. Turtle mode works really well. And they give you this foam insert to fly it on 1S. And that's to take up a little bit of the slack so that you can easily use one of these 1S batteries. It comes with these 300 milliamp hour 1S packs and it comes with a wiring configuration that allows you to plug two of them up and sandwich them here in the battery bay like this. And so they go like this here and then you plug both in. I swapped it out for an XT30 and I took the other end of the double battery lead and converted it into this adapter here so that I can still use these two batteries here in series if I want it. But the main reason I did that was for these batteries here. Now, if you haven't done this, I recommend totally that you do this. This thing has a speed and power increase of about 15 to 20% by just adding an XT30 and using these batteries right here. I don't know how it does with 300 milliamp hour batteries. Because this is a newer version of this beta fpv battery at first i saw that they had the 300 milliamp hours now the new improved 350 milliamp hour battery is here 2s and this thing screams you can actually hear the different pitch that the motors make and know that these batteries are putting out more power than those two batteries here together i got these off amazon they came two in a pack and I think it's made for this quad here because it slides right in the battery bay there. Fits perfectly. You can't adjust the camera angle. But they do provide you with this camera mount here. This one actually came installed. And this one has more pitch. I think it's about a 30 degree angle this one is on. And this one here is about 10 degrees. And so I had to swap it out in order to fly it indoors. And I overlooked these in the unboxing. But these little things you insert in here to bridge the connection in order to get the ESCs to fire up when you're trying to fly 1S. So you would plug one in here and then you would slide one of these inside here and that would allow you to fly it on 1S. I have this battery here that I converted to an XT30 when I killed my Tiny Hawk. <laughs> and I have another battery here that I converted. So I do have a couple of them that has an XT30 on it. But if I didn't, I can still plug this thing in that I made, this little adapter, and still insert one of those plugs into this one here. And still fly one of these batteries here. These props stay on really tight. I haven't had any problems with losing any props. None of my props have flown off in a crash or otherwise with this thing so far. It's just a really nice motor. Really nice copter. I really like the way this guy flies for a tiny whoop. 
and it still does have that tiny whoop feeling. Like some quads that are meant to be tiny whoops, when you fly them, they don't really feel like a tiny whoop. This little guy still feels like a tiny whoop. The 1S version, I had three bladed props on that, and I did try those on this, and it seemed like it flew about the same, so I couldn't really tell a difference. So I decided to stick with these four bladed props. As you guys can see, I do have one stress mark on here on one of the props, and that's because this frame is pretty flexible, but I think that's what stops the frame from breaking because it's so flexible, but the props do suffer if you smack into something really hard, you're going to get one of these stress marks on a prop or maybe even break a prop. I haven't broken anything. I haven't broken any props and I'm really happy about that. They didn't give me any spares or anything. You only get the pair that's on the quad and that's it. Underneath the hood on this thing, it's just one board. This board here is an F4 board, and it has the ESCs built right in. And the only thing that's separate is the VTX, but it's a little small board, and the VTX is wired right to the board. And so that helps contribute to this thing being so light. Now, the VTX performance is so-so. It's not terrible, and it's not the best, but it works. I do get a lot of flickering when I'm trying to fly it too far away and there's too many obstacles in between. It seems like it gets a little more flicker than the average. Indoors, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. It performs really nice indoors. And so let's go check out some video of me flying this guy so you can see the difference in punch between this battery and this battery here. So first, I have the two little 300 milliamp hour batteries in here with this little double connector here. And so let me show you guys the punch out with it in this configuration. First, and I am flying this with deviation now. So check it out. Crazy punch out. Let's look at it again. So definitely fast, a speed demon. Most people have been talking about how fast this thing is. In this configuration, and it is fast. Flying it in angle mode, so let's bring it back. Do another punch out. Punch out's definitely crazy. Enough power to recover from just about anything. Any kind of maneuver you want to do with this thing, you can do it. So I guess now we're just going to fly it back and forth so you guys can see the flight time. Try to fly it fast. <laughs> and I know I'm flying this a little faster than a person normally would. But I don't want to be out here too long with it. No buzzer on it, so you really can't tell if the battery is dying. If you're flying the line of sight like I am now. Other than just feel. You can feel, especially in this configuration here with the two little batteries. You can feel the punch out. You can actually see it. The punch out isn't as aggressive as it was before it's not a, as a, aggressive it doesn't go up as fast but it's still crazy though for a tiny whoop <laughs> look at it again 
definitely getting sluggish. So the punch out is a drag now. <laughs> That's full throttle there again. And so these batteries do drop off really fast. So a lot of batteries sag now. So let's bring it in. I don't want to kill the batteries or anything. So now we're going to switch to the 350 milliamp hour 2S battery. And this did have the benefit of still having this XT30 on it because I made this little connector here. So it does fly a little bit better <laughs> with that connector there. But now we're going, I'm going to show you guys how it flies with this 350 milliamp hour 2S. Spoiler alert, it's definitely going to fly faster. It's definitely going to have a lot more punch. I'd say about 30% more punch. So let's get this battery in. Fire it up. So I have the battery in now. And you can even tell it's apparent even by the high pitch, higher pitch sound of the motors. Check it out. So anybody that might tell you that it's not an increase in power, they're definitely wrong. That punch out is super crazy right there. So with a bigger battery, this thing just has a ton more power. It's a lot more fast. <laughs> and I'm, I'm not even kicking the throttle all the way up because this thing gets really squirrely, especially in line of sight flying. Line of sight flight is really squirrely if you hit the throttle to the top. Let's look at another punch out. <laughs> Insane. And it's virtually no sag with these bigger batteries too. I'm anxious to put a 450 milliamp hour battery on here. Because I know they have more power than these 350 milliamp hour batteries. And so I think I'm, I might end up doing a small mod to this thing to enable me to fly it with 450 milliamp hour batteries let's do some more punch outs just to show you guys that the punch out is still crazy Look at how far this thing goes up in that small amount of time on a punch out. I haven't flown the X series of the Beta FPV brushless whoops, but man, if they have more power than this, then I would say that's amazing. You guys probably can't even see this thing. <laughs> I'm just zooming it back and forth. Let's do let's do a punch out again. So still crazy punch out. And it'll do this almost to the end of the battery. With virtually no sag.
And I was zooming it past an angle mode as well. Just now I had it in acro. Back in angle mode now though. So as you can see the flight time definitely is longer. Think we might be near the end. Let's do a punch out. Yeah. But the punch out is about equal to the punch out with the two little batteries now. <laughs> okay, so this battery must be all the way down. <laughs> I hope I didn't kill it, but that's a quick line of sight demonstration. And I do have the FPV rolling, so you guys should have been watching that. Thanks for watching.